I really like 2019 now because you can get away with being ugly and broke. You're not fake. The way my life's set up right now. Okay, I can. You got I it. I get it. But there's one thing you can't get a pass on, and that's having trash fits. I'm telling you, look, Ed Sheeran, one of the most popular, successful artists out there right now. He came from poverty. He started from the bottom. Now he's here. Probably not the best looking guy out there, but dude with that voice does it even matter but see through all success fame talent and all that you know what doesn't get through with him his fits i'm telling you sing all you want buddy you look like a third grader i'm just saying man you can have all the money you can buy yeezys or whatever but if you're not styling properly i'm i'm diagnosing you with buddhist fit as in yeah nice dude super talented everything's cool about him but it's fit. We leave in Butterface in the past because that's disrespectful to women. And now you want the antidote. See, the first affordable solution to avoid butt is fit syndrome is, what's that? Hoodies. I talk about this a lot because it's so easy. Dude, you just get a nice hoodie, you throw it on over any fit, and it always looks fine. Look, I'll prove it to you. We got Mr. Third Grader over here. Throw on a hoodie over him. Bam, he looks like everyone on Reddit and Instagram. Look at this one. Here's a bigger one. Obama's tan suit, probably one of the biggest political controversies of his presidency. You throw this bad boy on him and bam, is this the state of the union or is this complex con? I can't even tell anymore. This dude's about to steal my girl. The only thing in this dude's cabinet is supreme underwear. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? You can't really beat the simplicity yet effectiveness of throwing on a hoodie. Plus, it's kind of cold outside now. A hoodie will go a long way. There are four seasons in the year. Everybody knows them, but I'm going to repeat them just in case you're out of the loop. We got cuffing season, breakup season, and open season and summer. A hoodie works with like three of those, maybe even four of those if you count open season two, one of the best movies of its From minimal styling to whatever's on the Instagram explore page, it looks good across the board. Any style fits it, and for sure this fits in the affordable bracket. Hoodies are like the McChicken of dollar menu streetwear. Amazon has a bunch of colors to choose from. You can start there if you're actually broke broke. Put on a couple items on there and Amazon prime that baby to your door. I'm not even in school anymore, but I have the Amazon student thing. That's how cheap I am. But if you want to try some new stuff out, you know, you think you're cool, ASOS is pretty solid as well. You know, they got a bunch of different colors and washes up there and it's super affordable everybody go get vaccinated now go buy yourself a hoodie avoid buddhist fit syndrome from spreading another streetwear essential is white sneakers why white sneakers why not black sneakers well i'll tell you why i'm not making any political jokes because I like my monetization status right now. I'm not about to have YouTube think I'm racist, but I can definitely vouch for white sneakers. Everyone wears black sneakers. I bet Jesus wore them at one point. Also when Jesus prays, isn't he like talking to himself? You know what? I'm saying black sneakers are the most, <laughs> so I'm saying black sneakers are the most common sneakers. And it's really easy to wear black sneakers. To separate yourself from that crowd, why not try white sneakers? What's wrong with white people? people sneakers white air force ones are solid they look better that way anyways but people are scared and everyone thinks that since they're white they're gonna get mad dirty real quick it's gonna happen you gotta embrace it there's a lot of dirty people in this world what's wrong with a pair of dirty shoes it adds character you know what they say what's a movie without characters you guys ever watch a movie without characters exactly and i bet if you even if even if you did it probably wasn't even a good movie they go with everything perfect everyday shoe and you can get the same look from vans to common projects depending on how much money you have and or depending on how ugly you are but before we get into the most important streetwear essential quick update if you haven't already make sure you join the respect women email club by clicking the link in the description thank you to everyone that's already joined you guys are awesome but i won't lie the list is getting pretty big so i'm probably going to cap it off soon because i don't want it to get too big and out of hand i want to kind of keep it tight and personal so go join it before i close it. Lastly, we got the most important streetwear essential, and that's a pair of Fitment. Well, that's real aesthetic. It's not a piece of clothing. Yeah, but it's essential. See that? That's in the title. That your clothes fit properly. Whether it be oversized or fitted, you got to make sure you're expressing it properly. Fitment will do more for your outfit than any piece of tangible clothing ever will. Just a regular hoodie and pants fit can all of a sudden be quote fashion forward if it's just oversized. A sloppy pair of jeans can all of a sudden be the perfect combo for any shoe with good fitting. So my take is to go figure out what fits you best. Everybody has different bodies. Find your measurements and then translate that into the clothes you buy. And then all of a sudden, even the cheap clothes 
look good on you. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and make sure you leave a like if this saved you money. Follow my Instagram at ChristianVY and tweet at me at ChristianVYYT. Join the Respect Women email club, link in the description. I'm closing it off soon. And also, comment Respect Women in the comments. I just want to see how many we can stack this time. It's pretty fun doing these things. Again, thanks for watching.